In this video we'll briefly discuss what is cimetidine and how it works, what it's used for, the dose and side effects, contraindications and precautions. Cimetidine belongs to a category of drugs called H2 blockers. It inhibits histamine action on H2 receptors, which are found on the gastric parietal cells. And this action reduces the secretion of gastric acid. It is available as 200, 300, 400 and 800 mg tablets, and also available as injection. Cimetidine is used in the treatment of active duodenal ulcer. And the usual dose for adults is 800 mg at bedtime, for 4 to 6 weeks. Or 300 mg 4 times per day, with meals and at bedtime. And the maintenance dose is 400 mg at bedtime. Also used for active benign gastric ulcer, and the usual dose for adults in this case is 800 mg at bedtime. And for gastroesophageal reflux disease. The usual dose for adults is 1,600 mg daily, in divided doses for 12 weeks, although some patients may require chronic therapy. And for pathologic hypersecretary conditions, or intractable ulcers, the usual dose for adults is 300 mg 4 times per day with meals and at bedtime. And if needed, 300 mg doses may be given more often to the maximum of 2,400 mg per day. And for prophylaxis of upper gastrointestinal bleeding, the usual dose for adults is 50 mg per hour, by intravenous continuous infusion. And also used before anesthesia, to prevent aspiration of gastric acid. 300 mg 60 to 90 minutes intravenous injection, is given before induction with anesthetic. Side effects of somatidine include, diarrhea, headache and dizziness, skin rash, and fever. Somatidine is contraindicated in case of patients with a history of H2 blocker hypersensitivity. And should be used with caution in the elderly patients, hepatic disease, and immunocompromised patients. Avoid alcohol and smoking as this may worsen the case. Avoid administering antacids within one hour of this medication. And also avoid taking any over-the-counter medications without consulting your physician. Avoid driving and other activities requiring mental alertness, or that are potentially dangerous, until response to medication is known. And avoid foods that might cause gastroesophageal reflux, such as spicy food. Report to your physician immediately any black terry stools coffee ground demesis, abdominal pain or confusion. That's all for this video. Subscribe and click on the bell icon for more animated medical videos like this one. And also check our recommended products in the description.